Hi everyone, it's Iris, and welcome back to Kindergarten. Uh, last time we did Cindy's questline, and she gave us this lovely flower. Uh, that's not what we're doing today, though. Today... We're gonna... We're gonna spend some time with uh, Miss Applegate. Uh, yes, we are ready to start another day. Let's go. <laughs> dive right into it. Hmm. I smell money. Yeah, someone's definitely carrying more than three dollars around here. I want to know how he can smell the money in my pocket. Hey kid, you carrying any cash? Yeah. Excellent. Give me half or I'll split your empty skull with my foot. Fine, here, take it. Good boy, now don't go telling teacher about this or you might turn up missing like that Billy kid. That That's something else. How do you turn up missing? Because to turn up implies that you're not missing. Buzz. Teacher. <laughs> I'm Miss Applegate. I have been well endowed <clears throat> with excellent teaching qualities. Yeah, cool. Bug stole my money. He did? Interesting. I'll make you a deal. Bugs is a real troublemaker. He's violent and a danger to others. If you go over there and challenge him, I'll make it worth your while. What if he hurts me? It'll build character. Is this legal? Probably not, but if this is how I can start my underground kid fighting ring, then it's a risk I'm willing to take. What's in it for me? I'll give you a gold star. We all love gold stars, don't we? Okay. Oh, how I love a good kitty fight. Just go over and push him a little bit. When he attacks, just yell for me and I'll put a stop to it. Okay, putting a lot of faith in you. What did you want, dweeb? I'm not giving you your money back. Get out of here before I squish you. Squishing me won't make your dad come back. My dad will come back. He just went to the store to get some cigarettes is all. Get out of here, I'll beat you so hard it'll make him proud. He'll never be proud of you. Yes, he will. If you don't leave right now, I'll kill you. Dying wouldn't be so bad. Fine, you asked for it. This is for you, dad. Teacher. Bugs. How dare you attack another student unprovoked again. That's the last straw. I'm sending you to the principal's office so he can finally expel you. No, please, don't. He started it. He's a liar. He said my dad was never coming back. Well, he's right. And after this little incident, neither are you. Now go to the principal's office or I'll have the janitor carry you there. But, but... Go. Stupid rat. We could have been friends if you didn't rat me out. Oh, happy day. I'm finally rid of that little degenerate. Here's your gold star, as promised. Thanks. Hmm, now you've got me thinking, though. Jerome thinks he's so high and mighty because he's the principal's kid. Why don't we arrange a trip for him to visit Daddy? Yeah, maybe we could. Oh, that's what I like to hear. Come see me during morning time, and I'll tell you what to do. See you then. There's just... Another thing we need to do first. Hi, Monty. I would like to buy something. Voice recorder. Pretty cool gadget. and keep you out of trouble if someone ever accuses you of something you didn't do. Alright, I don't need anything else. Hey, Cindy. The walking red flag. Hi there, cutie. I'm Cindy. Want to be my boyfriend? Sure. That's what I like to hear. And we'll totally be the cutest couple in school, but first, you have to do something for me. Isn't our love enough? <laughs> That's cute, but no, it isn't. You're gonna have to prove it to me. Why? Why? How about because I'm the prettiest, smartest, nicest girl you'll ever meet? Does that do it for you? You don't seem like any of those things. <laughs> Excuse me? I know you did not just say that to me, because if you did, I would have taken you out. I'd like to see you try. Fine. You asked for it. What are you gonna do? R word. Oh dearie me, what on earth is going on over here? I heard someone cry R word. Yes, Miss Applegate, it was me. This boy tried to R word me. 
I'm, I'm not gonna say it. I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I'm just, I'm not. Cindy, we've been over this. Boys not wanting to be your boyfriend does not count as our word. But as per the school policy, I have to send you both to the principal. What? You're punishing me for almost being R-worded? Now you listen to me, you little parasite. You are going to the principal's office. End of story. This is so unfair. Yeah, yeah. Tell it to the principal. I'm sorry, Bugs, but you leave me no choice but to... Oh, what now? What are you two doing here? He tried to R-word me. Great. Well then, Bugs. Looks like you got off easy this time. Get out of here, you little dumpster fire. I'll be seeing you at recess, pal. Okay, you two. Let's get this over with. So you're accusing your little friend here of trying to R-word you. Really, Cindy? Yes, sir. I could barely fight him off. I'm going to assume you're going to deny that you R-worded her. Is that correct? Yes. That's what I thought. Well, since no one witnessed the incident and you don't have any proof, there's not much I can do except separate you two for a while. Actually, I recorded the incident with my handy dandy voice recorder. You did? Well, that makes this a hell of a lot easier. Cindy, do I even have to listen to this or will you make it easy on yourself and just admit nothing happened? But, but he, what? Okay, fine, but he started it. He said I was mean. Not good enough. I think I'm going to enjoy not having you in my school for a while, Cindy. I'm going to keep this recorder, in case there's any trouble when your awful mother calls. So I can't have it back? No. Now why don't you run on back to class? I think you've missed enough learning for today. Sure. Oh, you're back. Where's Cindy? What's your punishment? None. I had proof I didn't do it. So that means she's gone? Oh, happy, happy day. I was so sick of hearing all of her nonsense. You would have earned a gold... A gold star. It would've. Well, our little ruse didn't get rid of bugs like I'd hoped, but don't worry. There's plenty of time to handle that later. What about Jerome? Ah, yes. The high and mighty Jerome, always talking back to me because his dad is my boss. I think it's time we finally got even with him. How do we do that? The principals informed me that one of his hall passes has gone missing. I'd bet Nugget's life that Jerome took them. What's Nugget's life worth to you? Not much, but I make a teacher's salary, so even by so even by my student life valuing system, it's still a pretty significant percentage. <laughs> Why don't you just take the pass? I'm not allowed to search a student without probable cause, and Lord knows there's no probable cause for searching the principal's son. That's why I need him to give it to you. Okay, I can do that. Excellent. Just go over there and get him to give it to you. Okie dokie. Uh, first, though... Hey, Monty. I would like to buy a yo-yo. Thank you. Dude, you know you're not cool enough to talk to me, let alone be my morning buddy. Besides, Monty's gonna hook me up with a sweet yo-yo. You mean this yo-yo? Aw, oh, come on. He told me he was gonna save that for me. You can have it if you'll be my buddy. You've got a deal. And since we're going to be friends, I think you should do something to help me out. You know, as a friend. Like what? You know that creepy old janitor? He stole my laser pointer this morning. Said it was too bright and shiny for his old eyes. I need your help to get it back. Okay, what do I do? When you're ready, I'll give you a hall pass. You can use it to get by the hall monitor. Once you're past him, head to the janitor's closet. My laser should be in there somewhere. Yeah, I can do that. Awesome. It should be in a box somewhere. Just grab it and go. Don't linger there too long. He checks back frequently. Got it. Just let me know when you're ready, and I'll give you the pass. I won't be able to, to distract the teacher for long, so head straight to the door. Don't talk to anyone on your way out. I'm ready. Go distract her. And we're not going to do any of that. Teacher. Give me just a minute. Jerome is distracting me. I got the pass from Jerome. I knew it! Jerome, you little cockroach, we've been over this. You can't just steal your dad's hall passes. What? You ratted me out to the teacher? Dude. Yes, he did. He's a good little rat. Please stop calling me that. No, because that's what you are. Teacher's special little rat. Just like Jerome is teacher's special little suspended hooligan. 
Aw, oh, come on, bro. I thought you were cool. Well, he's not. And because he's so uncool, he gets one of my special gold stars. Now, why don't you go take that pass back to your dad? I'm sure he'd love to know where it went. Man, stupid rat, getting me in trouble. My dad is gonna kill me. Literally. Sorry. <laughs> oh, that was just perfect. You're a natural at this. Let's keep this kid removal train rolling. How? I have a special plan for Nugget. Just befriend the little weirdo by the time recess starts. Okay, I guess. Feel free to get any of the other kids in trouble while you're in there. You'll have to get creative, though. I'll try. Nugget, my favorite. Nugget does not wish to spend morning time with you. Nugget is very busy. Do you want to be friends? Oh, Nugget normally spends morning time alone and eats lunch alone and lives life alone. Nugget supposes he could be your friend if... If what? You eat this nugget. That's it? Yes, do this for Nugget and we will be friends. Okay. Good. Now remember the taste of the nugget. We will dine together at lunch. Nugget will see you then. Okay. And uh, we have no money. I don't think we, we need, don't need to do anything else in here, so eat an apple and we'll go. Okay, kids, that's the lunch bell. Let's go down to the cafeteria for a nutritious meal. I hear we're having slop today. How exciting. How delicious. Nugget is pleased you have returned. Tell Nugget, the nugget you consumed was very tasty, yes? Sure, I guess. You couldn't taste the poison? Wait, what? <laughs> nugget poisoned the nugget. I'm gonna die? Perhaps. That depends on what you do next. Bugs just threw slop at you. Yes, he does that every day, but today, Nugget has poison, and you are going to poison Bugs for Nugget. Why would I do that? Because Nugget also has the antidote that will save your life. How do I poison him? Here's another Nugget. It's quite similar to the one you just ate, only this one is more... potent. Just get Bugs to eat it. Okay. Better hurry. Nugget thinks you have until the bell rings before the poison does its work. I hate you. Okay, so we're going to do that in a minute. I figured you'd be you'd be seeing me around now. Slop is no good, and I don't think anyone is brave enough to try a this cut from the janitor. Dumb old man can't even spell it right. Hey janitor. Biscuit balls, get your biscuit balls, get them while they're hot. You spelled biscuit wrong. <laughs> what? No, I didn't. How would you even know? You can't even read. But Monty can. Ugh, is that the dweeb with the glasses? Who am I kidding? Of course it is. Hey, nerd. <laughs> um, what do you want? Got some janitor stuff you want to sell me? No, but I got a coffin for you to buy. Let this be a lesson to you about correcting people's spelling. There. Lessons were learned. Lines were drawn. You're a good kid for letting me know that little monster is going around correcting spelling. And in a school of all places. Shameful the way kids turn out these days. Yeah, shameful. But you seem to be one of the good ones. Thanks. You just let the old janitor know if anyone else has anything to say about his spelling. I don't think that'll happen again. <laughs> oh, these glasses flew off the nerd's face when I hit him. You can have them. These old eyes don't miss a thing. Right. Thanks. <laughs> oh, we do not mess with the janitor. Hi, Bugs. No way a worm like you is going to be sitting with me. I need you to eat this. What? Why? What is it? It's a nugget. Yeah, I can see that. Why the heck would I want to eat something you gave me? Because otherwise you'll look like a sissy. What? Who around here thinks I'm a sissy because I won't eat a stupid nugget? Um, uh, eeny meeny money. Jerome. Jerome is always coming up with stupid competitions. Whatever. I'll show him. You sure did. <laughs> is it done? Has Bugs been poisoned? It's done. Wonderful. Nugget is quite pleased. If what you say is true, Bugs should die any moment now. And there he goes. Here's the antidote, as promised. I'll take that. Nugget hopes you feel better. 
please come see Nugget at recess. Nugget would like to show you something. Great. All right, one more kid that we got to deal with. So let's talk to the lunch lady because we need something from her. How you doing there, Sunny? Want some tasty, nutritious slop for lunch? No, but I'd like to go to the bathroom. Oh, I'm not allowed to let any of you kitties out in the hall during lunch, but maybe you could do me a little something if you wanted me to look the other way. Like what? Well, I seem to have misplaced my glasses. These old eyes can't read the menu without them. See, see if you can find a pair lying around and I'll let you out. Okay, what about these ones? Lovely, thanks so much. Go ahead and do what you gotta do. I won't stop you. Thanks. I know I said this in my dream machine um, video, but glasses don't work that way. Everyone's eyes are different. I know because every time my friends asked to asked if they could try mine on, they um, it was like they were in a vortex or something. They couldn't see anything, <laughs> even if it was three feet in front of their face. Go away, kid. I'll get in trouble if the principal hears you. This is the door to the principal's office. We'll knock. What the? It's lunchtime. Who's knocking on my door? What are you doing? You're gonna get us both in trouble. What are you kids doing out here? You should be in the cafeteria. Lily was eavesdropping on you. If Lily was eavesdropping, then what were you doing? I knocked to let you know. We'll just throw her under the bus. Lily, we've been over this. I had nothing to do with your brother's disappearance. Why don't you step inside my office and we'll talk this over again? I know it was you. One day I'll prove it. I'm getting real sick of this young lady. Office, now. Please excuse me for a moment. I think that was more than trouble. <laughs> okay, thank you for letting me know about her. I'm sure you heard the recess bell. Why don't you go out and play? Yeah, I'm not gonna ask any questions here. Okay. <laughs> well done, you got Lily, Monty, and Bugs? That's unprecedented. You've earned three gold stars. Thank you. What about Nugget? Did you manage to befriend the little mole creature? Yes, I did. Excellent. You see that hole he's standing by over there? He's been digging it for a few days now. I'm pretty sure he's gone straight through the bottom of the box. Wow. Yeah, I would be impressed if it wasn't so dangerous. Unfortunately, I have no way to prove how dangerous it is and the principal doesn't seem to care. What does this have to do with me gaining his trust? Because he won't let anyone in the hole who he doesn't trust. That's why you're going down there. Why don't you go? Does it look like I'd be able to fit down that hole? <laughs> no. No, it doesn't. So would you stop laughing and help me? Uh, no and yes. What do you need me to do? I need you to go down into the hole and find something. It doesn't have to be much, just anything we can use to get him in trouble. Like what? I don't know. I just know there has to be something down there. Just go there and find it. Okay, okay. Good. Come back when it's done. Hi, Nugget. Thank you for coming, as Nugget asked. Nugget normally does not have any friends to show his work to, but today he does. Are you ready to enter the Nugget cave? Yes, I am. Excellent, but first, Nugget must do something. What's that? There, now we're ready. Why did you just drop all those nuggets in the hole? So we do not die upon landing. Nugget's nuggets are as squishy as they are tasty. Now please enter the Nugget cave. I love Nugget. Oh, jeez. Welcome to the Nugget Cave. Behold its nuggety goodness. Please have a look around. Okay. Uh, I see. Monster Mon card. And I'm gonna take that. And just ignore the disintegrating skulls. Oh, the little doggy. Nugget forgot that was there. Is it dead? Yes, it is, but do not fret. Nugget did not do it. Nugget was just digging the Nugget Cave when it fell from the sky. Nugget dares not bring it to the surface. It would probably cause trouble. I'll take the dog. God, that poor dog. Are you enjoying your stay here in the Nugget Cave? Yeah, but I'm ready to go. Teacher. Uh, well, what did you find? This dog corpse. Oh, my dearie me. Is that... Is that... Is that Cindy's dog? Nugget! 
What is it, large teacher lady? <laughs> Did you kill Cindy's dog? What? No, Nugget would never... Well, not never, but Nugget is relatively harmless. Don't lie to me. Nugget is not lying. Nugget knows it was the janitor who killed the little puppy. I know it was you. Oh my. That was unfortunate. <laughs> Well, that didn't go as planned, but I'm relatively pleased with the result. You earned another gold star. Cool! Well, would you look at that? This playground is completely empty. You've gotten rid of all of your classmates and collected six gold stars. So, what now? Now, I go home early. Don't I get a reward? Oh, right, your reward. Here you go. It's a special lunch pass. You can use it anytime you want to have lunch with me. It's my way of protecting my rats for selling out their friends. Thanks. Well, there's no one left to teach today, so I'm gonna take off. What about me? Look, kid, either I can earn a gold star or you can start walking home. Choice is yours. I'll walk home. Good. I'll see you tomorrow. Toodles. All right. Got the lunch pass and a uh, brand new Monster Mon card. Miss Applegate's fun. More than a couple screws loose, but she's fun. <laughs> um, but that is the end of, uh, of today's video. Thank you so much for joining me, and uh, I will see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.